Well, good morning. Welcome to Springfield, Missouri. I've never been to Missouri, and I'm here so I can spend a couple days with the dudes at the Acoustic Shop, which, if you follow them on YouTube, they have my favorite things. Uh, they have Boucher guitars, they have some Eastman guitars, they have Furk guitars, all kinds of cool stuff. So, let's go hang out. I think the plan today is we're gonna hang out, we're gonna tour the shop, and then we're gonna do their live show later on this afternoon. So, anyway, uh, let's see what we can get into. It's a cool little airport. Red truck, red truck, don't see it. It's a pretty small airport. Oh, hey, let me. There you go, you feel better about that? Okay. Yeah, don't see a red truck yet. Hi, Ian. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Excited. Yeah, this will be really fun. Oh, is this for later? Yeah, that's for later. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been in Missouri. Well, welcome. To my grandpa, this is terrible, it's my own grandpa, and I don't actually remember what town he's from. But he always told me, he's like, I grew up in Missouri. I played I played ball in school with Sam Walton. He stepped nice. on my foot and broke my and he said he couldn't go to World War II because he got his foot stomped on. <laughs> That's a good, I don't know if any of this is true. It's a good story, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope it is. All right, so I think we're we're headed to the shop now. We're going to head straight to the shop unless you want to stop by the hotel. It's right next to the shop anyway. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, let's just head to the shop. And then the plan, I think, for them is the live show, right? Yeah. At some point today? Yeah, we got a live stream at 12.30. And then we'll just have fun the rest of the day. Awesome. Get some I am lunch in between there. and Perfect. All right. That's it for now. Guys, this room smells amazing. If for no other reason, go hang out in guitar shops because they smell good. Yeah, you can do that. This is uh, Liz, though. This is our repair tech. Oh. This is Jeremy Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. That's a tiny little face too. <laughs> yeah, and then this is the this is the room. Ooh. This is where all the good stuff is. This yes. is oh, oh, oh. Is that a tone right going in it? Yeah, I've heard of them. <laughs> oh, you yeah. that video. Oh, I love that this diffusion on the wall is super cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, we call this the senior room because it was purposely built for residents, basically, you know, so that people can close the doors and try out. And it looks cool and smells good. And it looks cool and smells yeah. good. Yeah, all those but it all away. That is the white rice right there. This one? Yep. And that's our, sadly, that next to it is our only Thompson that we have at the moment because they're the rest of them sold. Just on freaking top of the world right now. And then. That's a really cool. Then that's. Original before Gibson Orville mandolin. So 18. Oh, what is it? I can't remember what the year I don't remember what the year is. Well, leave that back. Yes. So it's all completely carved out of one solid. Uh, like church the sides and yeah so. yep this is all yeah it's actually a three piece so you got your spruce top fully carved <laughs> sides and then the back is actually carved out of a piece of a church pew from there that is a freaking volute look at that yeah. thing that's one of the repairs that david had to do <laughs> okay but original was it tuners, originally yeah or? yeah the volute was there we had a crack separation oh, there it. that was separating original tuners which were altered by uh, orville to fit the volute okay but yeah, really cool. Not the original tailpiece, but super cool piece. One of very few in the world. I I've never seen one like that. We had a guy walked in. He lived in Kalamazoo, knew Orville, or no, the guy he bought it from, he talked to him. He bought it at a garage sale. Um, the guy that he bought it from knew Orville. 
or Will gave it to him when he was going to, uh, he went to basically his the rehab for mental illness at the time. So he went in and was selling all his stuff. And that was the story behind that. He sold it to him. He's had it ever since. And then had it at the garage sale that he bought it at. That's insane. But there's a picture of Orville's workbench back in that time period. And we're 90% sure that the mandolin in the background is that one. That is unbelievable. All right, how much? <laughs> there's, there's no selling that. <laughs> he won't let us sell it. All right, I He's tried. Let us borrow it. Okay. Oh, I've got it. That fit in the check bag, right? <laughs> So this is the J43 Preserve. Now, what's interesting about this, so if you watch that last or one of the videos I just put out with Sam, um, he has the J43, but it's not the Reserve. So the Reserve has a red spruce top. There's a little bit heavier relicking. And then I think, is it Honduran back and sides? I forget the details. Oh, there it is. Honduran mahogany back and sides. Torrified, okay, that's the other thing. Torrified Adirondack spruce top. Engine 11 16th nut. That's interesting. Um, I mean, that's, a, that's what it would be, but it's not, we're all used to kind of wider nut widths. But, Sam, I can tell you, this has that same little bit of the finish that's worn off. It must be part of the aging. We couldn't tell when we looked at the last one if these two little dings right here, if those are actually because of something he did, having a capo that went over the nut, um, or if it was wear. And it's cool that they're both here. This has tiny little details. You can tell like when brands like this make guitars that are exceptional, that they catch the details that other brands that are just trying to do things, they're just building a different guitar. When you build a guitar this special, bespoke, specific, you're gonna catch little details like this little rounded heel cap. That's a thing that like Collings and Waterloo catch and it's amazing that they caught it. Anyway, it's tiny little details that take guitars from like good to exceptional. That's a really fun guitar and only $6,000. Anyway, oh, hey, nice buddy. Nice to meet you. Hi. This is great, absolutely. Hey, I'm Jeremy. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I kind of, you know, uh, well, yeah. And I also know another Jeremy. I don't that's know true. You know Here's the crazy thing. So I have, I am one of four, Jeremy, Jason, Jonathan, and Justin. You guys apparently our parents have the same plan. <laughs> I don't even know what the plan was. I I don't know. I've asked my mom. It's asked to my dad. just have to yell at all of your kids while doing yard work. I, I swear they also claimed that they weren't going to do it, and then they did another one. Yeah. That's yeah. Man, was, that's was yours intentional? Uh, well, they I think by the third they're like, oh, this is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but all of us, it was like. Like, I, we, you were supposed to have, your middle name was actually the name that your parents couldn't agree on. And so we all have two middle names, which are, like, what my dad wanted, what my mom wanted. And then, I like that. So, yeah, that's classic. Yeah, that's so classic. just, like, born in argument. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, dude, this room is amazing. We, uh, we love it. It was a lot of fun to build. Um, I'm going to say it was a lot of fun to build. I didn't build it. Jeremy and Jason did yeah. most of the work. So but it's beautiful. I, I just told them I, I want it like this. And there you go. No. It's, yeah, it's so good. This is a room that you'd want to just spend a ton of time. But it's cedar on top of cedar. Yeah. Uh, on top of cedar. And then uh, also, I don't know if you caught on to this, but there's actually two different tonalities to this room. Uh, I did. So flat surfaces on this side give you more resonance. And you may even hear this in the camera. You'll hear a little bit more resonance, a little bit more openness. These odd surfaces, which we deliberately built in, all of a sudden you get a little bit more dampened. It still has acoustics, but nowhere near the open resonance. So we do that on purpose. It gives you an opportunity to hear it in a bigger room. And then if you move over a little bit, you kind of get a little bit of a, a more natural room. Man, that so, is super clever. Yeah. Cool. I, I always think it's a really good idea to have I not don't have like a studio quality perfect sounding room but have a room that sounds better than the living room that this guitar is going to go back to <laughs>
<laughs> well, I mean, it helps sales to a degree too. Uh, but uh, but we also wanted to make it fair. And and even if you yeah. bring it out into our other room, that was a tough room. That was actually oh, probably the sure. toughest acoustic room that we have because well, it's just dead. I mean, this is like Carter Vintage. Like it's, it looks very open. similar. Yeah. yeah, open concrete wall or cinder block walls. Yep. Tall ceilings. We only but, had that. Uh, that's all we could do. Uh, oh, there's yeah. only so much we could do. Oh yeah. I mean, well, you could spend two hundred thousand dollars, and, you know, and it'd be a little better. Yeah. But anyway, cool. Well, I think um, I think there's a live show happening. I right? think we're that's gonna be doing thing. a live. I can't wait to do it. So okay. Get get ready. It's gonna be uh, something. Okay. Yeah. Let's head in there. Uh, I picked a guitar. Yes, you did. I think it's here. It used to be here. You may have already seen it. But anyway, yeah. let's go do the live. Yeah. It's coming. It's going down okay. here in just a second. But check this set out. Okay. Set up out. That was going to delay it a couple days. As far as I can find, everything seems legit. Yeah. And cool. you talking to him when he asked about the other bag, he seemed to know why he wants it. Yeah. I asked him about strings, and he was like, "Do you guys have Ethereal 12s that you can put on there?" And I was like, "All right. Well, we just finished the live show." Yeah. Was, was that was it, that good? It was good. It was, was that okay fun. even. Uh, it was something. Yes. <laughs> so, but like this thing is a freaking practice. monster. Okay, so this one is a. Let's talk about this and show this one. So this is a Tony Rice spec, and apparently you have to say an R in bourgeois. Yeah. Not bourgeois. <laughs> but um, so Madagascar rosewood. But look how fair this is. It's super. Light, it's not as like streaky, inky. No. Uh, but then there's a crazy thing. So over here, when this guitar was being built, uh, someone accidentally sanded it way too thin. We didn't, we just realized, like if you hold it up to the light, you can see light through there, which means. Oh, you can. I'm... Yeah. Can you get there? Uh -huh. Can you get there? All right, I got a super wide lens, so probably not. Um, anyway, just trust us. <laughs> but, uh, it is but, there. but yeah, so basically with this, man, somebody, because, I'm now building a guitar, a guitar with Showalter guitars, and so I've I'm just finished the box of my guitar. So by the time you're sanding this, you're only sanding like, I mean, just to, to get it flat. So somebody Dana's was words texting. were Dana's words were somebody got very aggressive. Yeah, very very aggressive. But very aggressive with a with a fine grit sandpaper. So yeah. Anyway, but this thing sounds yeah. incredible. I. I'm knocked out by it. I'm so, yeah. so thrilled with the guys uh, for sending it to me. Yeah. I think it's just incredible. How often do you get bit by the bug of getting high on your own supply? <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, uh, I was talking about this uh, to the guys in the shop. I don't... I don't get to play much anymore. I okay. teach, so I play every once in a yeah. while, and then. But this weekend, when this came in on Friday, I took it home, and my wife hates guitar now uh, because all I'm doing is playing. I probably played more in the last uh, this weekend probably than I have in ten years. Dude, so. that's amazing. Yeah, it's a very inspirational instrument. Yeah, so. that's so good. Yeah, cool. All right, well, I think it's lunchtime, so it is. We're gonna eat. All right, let's go Ooh. eat. Ooh. So this is an F. 50 with Macassar ebony back and sides alpine spruce top. Holy cow. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Holy. That is unbelievable. <laughs> it's a special edition. This was built for a NAM show okay. uh, for them. Special edition. It has a maple neck. That's a little bit odd on a 50. I haven't seen um, a neck quite like this on a lab. Not usually maple. Like I said, usually mahogany. Um, but that's kind of their deal. And then the Alpine Spruce. And it is a 50 series, so it's kind of like their top tier stuff. Um, you know, it was built as a NAM special edition guitar. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a really cool guitar. We just haven't found the right one. I do have a repair that needs to be done on it. It does have a crack that has developed again. That Macassar in the sapwood area right here mm -hmm. has shown that. But that is really only issue with this. And it's kind of a little bit hard to repair with this finish because it's such a unique finish and I'm kind of scared to see it get screwed up. Yeah, it's very, very satin. satin light. But that's Loudon's finish. I mean, it's very unique. Mm. So they're wanting to get it back and they want to uh, fix it for us. So that'll be the next move. But hopefully it'll go back here and we'll find the right home for it. All right.
incredibly clear. It's a loudin. <laughs> Extra loudin. Oh, okay. Well, it does have a hole. I thought yes. it was born with no belly button. <laughs> Word has it that you sell a lot of Eastmans. We sell a lot of Eastmans. And there's a specific couple Eastmans that I want to see. Okay. Which are those like very Martiny, triple O. Okay. The yeah the let's can, can, can like we see those? the E10s E20s. Yes. Stuff. All right. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Tone porch. Oh yeah. Arm bevels and a gloss neck. Yes. That's a very maiden looking finish for the, that burst. So yeah, that was uh, their color. Again, uh, three color uh, purfling. If you look real close, I got a red and a blue. Yeah. They call this one a Dakota fade finish. But here's the big difference. 19, hand built guitar. Yeah. So there's the big difference. Whoa. What is this thing? So a guy named Jeff Huffman built this over in uh, North Carolina. Um, let's see, it's got some finished cracks and stuff. But um, now I bought this secondhand. Technically, I bought it from the guy that got it from Jeff. And um, this is going off his word, but this is something that Jeff is kind of known for. This back and sides actually came from a '40s D28. Holy cow! So you can kind of see. The kind of checkered board, like the yeah. way they started doing that. Yeah, so it's not your typical like pre war herringbone or anything, but Adirondack top and then it was re necked and pre top. So, yeah, yeah, so this is this is my personal guitar and I had a Gang K vintage check put in it. I actually bought it here before I worked here. So, cool, dude, so, let yeah. it eat. It's a really good guitar. I've had it about three years now, and Dude, uh, that's it. I know I knew you were kind of into like kind of. Oh, small absolutely! This I didn't is, know, but yeah, this is a really cool guitar. I'm into old Martins. I'm into Brazilian guitars. Yeah, so this kind of hits all the boxes. Oh, and, dude, and uh, I won't I won't tell you like exactly what I paid for, it, but I got a really good deal dude. on it. So yeah, that's awesome. So. <laughs> caught my eye. This is an Atkin, this is a, an L36, so basically an L00, it's a 14 fret, um, and it's really ornate. Now this has some interesting tone woods. It's a Sitka spruce top with the tiger guard, but on the back and sides, it's actually U, yeah, figured U, so it's Y-E-W, with a torrified Adirondack top. That's interesting. It looks like Sitka, it's very tight grain, but I guess yeah, so this is a torrified uh, spruce top. So basically that brings it to, this is a pricey and expensive guitar. So this guitar is $6,299. Comes with a case though, so you got that going for you. This is a magical sounding room. All right, let's see what else we can find. What do you want to talk to Oh, Evans. I want to talk to the fancy Trip pearly ones. Ah. Yeah, we got all kinds of cool stuff one. to check out. Yes, all right. This is the one. This is the one. Now, this one's a unique one. Um, this was a batch. This is the E40 OM, okay? Uh, normally, Eastman's OM is a short scale 14 fret. So it's actually, as an argument, is it could be a triple O, it could be a short scale OM, you know, however you want to go with this uh, argument, okay? Um, so that's what they normally do, and they do build the E40 in that. The tie-in with Bourgeois is uh, part of what makes this guitar unique. 
They built this one in a full scale, so it's 25 and 25.4 inch scale. But this has the tone tight neck. The tone tight neck is the bourgeois neck joint. So it's the bolt on system that he developed, he did. Uh, all built into here. Now, this also has a thermo cured Adirondack spruce top or torrified. So there's that too, um, which is actually something that we actually helped work with Eastman to do. We were the first ones pushing them to do uh, thermo cured tops. So uh, that's been done. So this is kind of a unique one. It's an E40 TC with a tone tight neck. That is not the way they will come from now on. They will all be done in dovetail joints. And Eastman does a better job at color matching the larger percentage. I mean, there's some colors in there, but if you really look at this, so that's very it's, it's very champagne colored. It's not. Sometimes it's so purple and pink, and that and that happens on other guitars. But it's got to be a variant. What I've been impressed with what Eastman's done is, you know, you get the different blocks and it can be all the different colors all the way through where they actually kind of color match. You get ones that have more purples and stuff, mm -hmm. it'll be lean pretty much all of it in the purples. If it's going to be more reds, more blues, it will lean that direction. So this one kind of has, like you said, more of that champagne-y silver-ish color and it kind of holds that way. There's still other colors in here, but the majority of all the pieces are actually color matched. So, All right, well I think that's a wrap for day one hanging out. This was flying here. Hanging out, doing the live show, doing lunch. You didn't see lunch, but uh, <laughs> we did. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Check out Acoustic Shop. Uh, I'll have all their links and stuff in the description down below, and uh, more to come.